hello students in this video we are going to drive an expression for a disk of constant strength or uniform strength a disk is said to be of constant strength if the radial and circumferential stresses developed due to rotation are equal in magnitude and are constant for all values of radius such disks have a varying thickness and are of vital importance in the design of rotors of steam and gas turbines here is a generalized diagram of a disk of uniform strength it has a thickness t naught at axis of rotation or at center and let us suppose a thickness t at a radius r and T plus del T at a radius R plus dr. Our main focus is on a small element A, B, C, D on which basically there are three forces acting on a disc circumferential stress, sigma, radial stress circumferential stress is denoted by sigma, th sigma theta or sigma h and radial stress is denoted by sigma r and a centrifugal force fc centrifugal force fc this element a b c d makes an angle d theta at the center at the d theta at the center since it is a disk of uniform strength then sigma theta and sigma r both equal to sigma both equal to sigma then we just have to make or just have to resolve these forces these forces means this is all i have already explained for analyzing a disk of uniform strength for thickness variation with radius and let attention be focused on an element a b c d at a b we have a radius r plus dr and thickness t plus dt dc radius r and thickness t and sigma is equivalent uniform stress in radial and circumferential directions then we have four faces or four forces on different different faces radial force on face cd radial force on face cd dekhi cd ke upar radial force kitna hoga sigma stress into area area is radius is r angle is d theta then this dc is r d theta and the thickness is t then radial force on the face ab we have stress sigma and the radius is r plus dr and angle is d theta so ab arc length r plus dr d theta into thickness is t plus dt then the circumferential force on face ad and bc these are sigma and thickness is t and the radius is uh, sorry is element is dr small element is dr then the centrifugal force mr omega square it is m rho is equal to mass by volume m is equal to rho into v so it comes out to be rho omega square r square d theta dr into t when these forces are resolved in radial directions and equilibrium is considered of the forces we get we are going to resolve it in radial directions then sigma into r d theta into t plus twice of sigma into dr into t into sine d theta by 2 this is circumferential stress na? circumferential stress twice is equal to sigma into r plus dr d theta into t plus dt plus centrifugal force rho omega square r square d theta dr into t since d theta is small so sine d theta by 2 is d theta by 2 we can consider sine d theta by 2 as very because the angle is very small consider it as d theta by 2 further cancelling d theta from both sides and neglecting dr into d theta because the small product देखिए एक छोटी क्वांटिटी है उसको दूसरी छोटी क्वांटिटी से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो वो और छोटी क्वांटिटी हो जाती है तो हम उसको नेगलेक्ट कर देते हैं देन इट कम्स आउट टू बी डी टी बाई टी इजल टू माइनस ऑफ रो ओमेगा स्क्वायर आर बाई सिगमा इन टू डी आर ऑन इंटीग्रेटिंग वी गेट ए कॉन्स्टेंट ए एंड वी कैन रिप्लेस एज ऑल द आवर टर्म्स आर कमिंग इन लॉग तो वी रिप्लेस दिस ए कॉन्स्टेंट इन टू एल एन सी लॉग सी बिकॉज सी इज अनदर कॉन्स्टेंट देन we will take it this ln c into the left hand side then ln t log t minus log c it is a property of log we can write it as log t by c is equal to minus of rho omega square r square by 2 sigma then we have uh, 
uh, by solving it we get t is equal to c into e raised to pi power minus of rho omega square r square by 2 sigma here the c is constant we have to find out the value of this c now we have a boundary condition at r is equal to 0 means at the center line at the x is our thickness is t is equal to t naught we by putting it we get c is equal to t naught now therefore the thickness of disk of uniform strength at any radius is equal to t is equal to t naught into e raised to power minus of rho omega square r square by 2 sigma this is the final derivation which we have to derive for a case of disk of uniform strength और हमें ये याद भी रखना है ये फॉर्मूला बिकॉज ऑल द न्यूमेरिकल्स आर गोइंग टू बी सोल्व सोल्व बाई यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला ओनली वी कैन सोल्व एवरी